At the end of March, I read an article in The New Republic arguing against productivity and optimization during a time like this. There's been a growing movement against hustle culture and workaholism for a few years now, but this article pointed out that in our current world crisis, true importance lies in the essential care and maintenance that we can offer to ourselves and our communities. At the time I was reading it, I thought, yeah, that makes total sense, and I proceeded to focus my attentions during my free time on light exercise, cooking, cleaning, checking in with family, and following the news. I was of the mindset that the best thing I could do was to slow down, keep calm, and just wait this out. But not long after, I learned that a handful of people I know were suddenly laid off. A few days later, a couple other friends had been let go of their jobs. And later that week, I learned that more friends of mine had been furloughed without pay, are facing threats of furlough, are taking pay cuts, or are being forced into regular, unpaid days off. I still don't personally know anyone infected with the virus itself, but now I do know many, many people whose livelihoods have been affected by it. Not to mention, many people, myself included, are not able to spend today's holiday with their families because of restrictions on travel and large group gatherings. And to be perfectly honest, all the self-love, slowness, and meditation in the world is not going to calm me down right now. I, like many other people, feel helpless and frustrated. And when I feel like this, I'm truly not interested in temporary zoning out self-love type activities. Instead, I need to feel like I'm doing something. The best thing I've found thus far is immersing myself into all-encompassing, deep work tasks. I need to zone in. And yes, this is a privilege, and a blessing, and dumb luck, and it's something I've worked hard to hold on to. It's all of those things, and it's come with sacrifices of its own, but at this time, I do have these resources at my disposal right now. I still have a job, an apartment, savings, my health, but I truly don't know how long I will have all of them. It's not enough to just not take things for granted anymore. I need to take advantage of what I have right now. Immersing myself in productivity allows me to feel some sense of relief and control. And while I understand the article's concept that burying yourself in mindless busy work is not the solution, I have found that zoning in to productive escapism can be a very healthy tool to my mentality. This idea that a focus on productivity at a time like this can only be toxic and completely against self-love is backwards to me. Occasional escapism through productivity, through learning, and through immersing myself in a flow state is my way of staying calm. No matter what happens in the next few months or few years, there will, at some point, be new opportunities. I'm making a choice right now to use what I currently have to be ready for that time. It's not toxic productivity to me. It's productive escapism. And sure, I might not be writing the next King Lear, and the start of learning anything new is going to be grueling, demanding, humiliating even, but you gotta start somewhere, right? Till next time.